Don't even play with me. Get the whole... <laughs> oh, oh my god, I got a KO from the top. Oh, what a hit! Hello, everybody, and welcome to week three, episode three of season three. We got a lot of threes going on here. On our road to backlash here on uh, WWE 2K24, my GM mode on the uh, Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. Uh, shout out to uh, Snow Penguin with a 20 stream uh, streak here coming in here. Uh, good to see you here, my friend. We are back. Uh, we still technically are first place here uh, after last week, but we are biting the dog when it comes to fans. Paul Heyman pulled a card on us that we can't use our champion, so it uh, affected the card a little bit. Not much, but we just had some dog matches. We were trying to set up some feuds and mix things up a bit, and it just it did work out that well. Today, I hope we can do a little better here. We did have one request from Cora Jade, which we will make sure we can accommodate. And we need to get some feuds moved up closer to that level fives or level four so we can uh, set them up for the PLE properly. So, you know what? Let's uh, let's chat about it as we go in here. So, let's uh, let's do a tour. Promise Cora a triple threat or fatal four way match against Thea Hale, Nikita Lions. That will not be a big deal. So these logistics are available right now to us. We do have the money. And we do have the uh, assets for it. I'm going to wait until after the PLE because this one here, the stadium, it's eight assets. We have the money for this with no extra bonuses on it. If I can do this one after the PLE, every match we're going to do is going to be in a stadium from here on out. And that's, well, let's go. We're going from 20,000 people to 30,000. So that's going to be a pretty dime here that we're going to be able to add and with that extra money we're going to be able to get the other assets and we'll be able to uh get things going that's money need to get that cheddar going so let me get through these so that i don't have to see that stupid star going here so all right so we got two things that we promised one that i'm just i'm dumb enough to why I booked that, I don't think that's very smart of me. If I book this now, I'd have to find, I might have to find a jobber to do it. The loser of the match is out for a week with an injury. I'd like to do it with Gargano, but realistically, I don't want to lose Gargano for any extra time. But this one we're definitely going to do tonight. So let's book this right now. It is uh, triple threat. We'll do normal for the moment. We can always add to it. Cora Jade. Take it on. Thea Hale. And Nikita Lyons. Now we could do an extreme rules match. Or a TLC. I don't know how either one of those would help. Let's just leave it at this for right now. What's our goal for this week? Ensure that you're least the pop... Least popular available fighter is in a match. Oh, I have to get my least popular fighter in a match. Who would that be? Ah, oh, Darius. Why not? We'll get we'll get him in here. You know what? Let's just see if we get this one-on-one -on -one battle going here. We don't need anything stupid with these guys. I want this in the card. We could give it the one. This is like our guaranteed win point here. Because this will not... <laughs> Uh, uh, 
see what you can eat, yeah. Yeah, Fifty grand, though. Ugh. All right, well, we do this. I promised. I'm all, I'm going like this every time I make a promise to anything these days, so. Let's see if we got another few going here. Oh, I know what I, what else I was going to do here. So we got our champion Ivy Nile here who absolutely is doing nothing for us right now in terms of rivalries. So we are going to open this match up with a triple threat. Right now we'll make it a triple threat. Just be there. So we're going to bring Alba Fire in. We're going to bring her rival Shayna Baszler in here. And we are going to bring... It Ivy now will make this a title match. The only stipulation that helps is a steel cage match. That's fair. So let's. What is the card we're getting? Zodiac, you so smart. Because anybody that's injured for a, about a time, I could just bring them right back. Actually, I think I have a power card that can help that out anyway. No, I don't. I don't. Health spas are available, but I got to work on those right away. Anyway, back to the card. ba da -ba. You know what? We haven't seen Dijak and Lorenzo for a little bit. Give a little boost to the tables match. I think we did one of those already with him, but... I think we'll do okay with this match. Can I throw somebody else in there? So another heal I could use. Who does she match with? Because they're saying she'll match up with someone. No, let's be, let's keep this as a triple. Let's not get stupid here. If we put the title of the line there, that'll help out. All right, let's see what we got for promos here. Can the no-holds bar be a triple threat? No, it cannot. Because that stipulation disappears. And you know what I might do here? I think I might pull this one off because I don't know if I really want to watch this anyway. And this sort of might help us uh, get a feud between two guys going here. The thing... See, here's the thing. If you put Gargano in that spot and you have him target Theory, if Theory loses, the stipulation for a no-holds-barred match is the loser is injured for at least one week if not more. I don't want Theory injured. You know what? Theory's been a whitey little bitch. You, you talk me into it. I used to want Gargano injured because if I can, I can flex him up to drag it off without an issue here if I need to. 
And whoever gets injured, we're giving the health card back anyway, so. I'm going to try this one more time to see if it'll work. We already tried that once. Never mind, so. Uh, let's see if we can push her up for a bit trading here. Actually, that won't help me here for figuring things out. I want to... We got a three, a two, a four, and a two. I wonder... Maybe I just didn't do this right. Let's see if Zay can call out Dragonov. After last week's little squabble. And we need a charity promo because... We need a charity promo because I need to get more fans. <laughs> the money part is not that huge of a deal right now, but all right, let's look at this. So Fire and Baszler have a feud. Niles in there as the champion. This one's already been asked for, so we got that covered. We got Theory against Butler. No holds barred, so Theory's going to get beaten up big time. And Dijak versus Stax has been turning into a good rivalry. This will probably be my uh, world championship match uh, for the PLE at Backlash. Let's see what we can pick up here for cheap. You know what? I know I don't have a lot of them, but let's... Uh, it's always good to pick up these power cards. Just these ones, the health spawn, the super... Getting the morale up. You know, I can always replace somebody with bad morale, so... Do we want to screw anybody here? I think we're going to save that for Raw for another week here. Is there anybody that seriously needs it right now? No, everybody's still fresh as a daisy. All right, chat. Any issues with the card order too? Do you think that this match will do more than this match? We got a 60, a 71, and a 72. We got a 57 and a 72 with a rivalry. It's the only thing I'm worried about here. What I'd almost do here, actually, what I might just do. Yes, there's belt on the line boost, so I think I'll put that there. This one's going to be more of the junk one. This one here, because Thea has got such low, uh, low popularity, that might keep it down a little bit. And then this one here, the rivalry is established. They're both in a case. There's a stipulation match. I think we're good to go on this one, so. And if I move these matches and you see that my card's wrong... You guys can laugh at me once again for screwing this up. So I think we got her. Stipulations met. Logistics we're not worried about because I just spent under the budget. Who's out there? Post Malone is now $10,000 for five weeks. Glad we can get you some extra money there. So is this for a PLE? <laughs> I might be a jackass and just do this to Haven for the P for the PLE. Just cost him double. I 
I really want to use that on Raw, but I'll wait until we get to a bigger show. But yeah, I think we got her here. So let all the world hates a coward. Let's get to it here. Only cost 77,000. So I like that. So tonight we get to see our matches first. So like I mentioned, Ivy Nile has not been doing anything for me in terms of uh, getting a rivalry for me with anybody. However, Alba Fire and Shayna Baszler are in a rivalry. So if I get the title on one of these two, we can get that rivalry going into the PLE, even though Heyman might veto it, but that's another, that's another story to dictate somewhere else. Let's get to this here. So once again, we are in Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Brooklyn. I really do love Alba's uh, NXT entrance. Is a triple threat match and is for the WWE Women's Championship. Introducing the challenger from Glasgow, Scotland, Alba Fire. Now this this will be a lot of fun to watch here as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm really wondering what, how we want to deal with this PLE. Do we do it next Wednesday with everything else that's going on? So we would be doing the PLE and then the week after. Or do we run the PLE on the, uh, on the Friday and then just do uh, week six of uh, GM next Wednesday? And for those that are watching here on YouTube, wondering what the heck's going on, we're talking about here. We normally record these uh, Wednesdays and Saturdays after AEW Dynamite and AEW Collision. However, the way the schedule works out right now, the day of this taping is the Tuesday before Wrestle Dream, so we're doing a double taping here. Next week, they have Battle of the Belts on the... Uh, on the Saturday, so we'll be watching that, so there'll be no 2K24 there. Watch this become a level two feud and Ivy still wins the match. That's probably gonna be, that's not the worst case scenario. To me, the worst case scenario is Ivy keeps the title and the feud doesn't advance. It'll be over soon. Don't worry. Oh, don't worry, folks. We're putting Shayna heel sooner than later. That's where she should be as a heel. shit is weird yeah there was that weird little gap the WWE Women's Champion, it was that weird little gap when Nia was about to dominate everybody before she got fired the second time I think that's the only time she's actually been face and uh it, it was right after the Ronda feud or going into the Ronda feud where she was the face putting Raw down of her misery in that god awful SummerSlam uh, Lions Pit match or whatever you want to call it. The worked MMA match that nobody gave a crap about at SummerSlam. Didn't she do the intros already once? That's what I thought. Oh, we got a little niche tonight. I, 
I wouldn't mind bringing somebody like Charlotte or some of these bigger stars in here. We just don't have the money for it. Even when we do the, uh, Even with the amount of money that we made in the uh, in the draft and all that stuff. I did pick up, like I said, I did pick up a lot of stars. So we are going to have to work on picking up some enhancement talent and start boosting them here. This first season, I'd like to just, or this first set of, up to the first PLE. Let's work with what we have and then we can start incorporating some others, building them up. Nice super bad punch out of nowhere there. Nice quick little spear, nothing to it there. And Ivy now crashes and birds. Both contenders going after the champion. I love it. But I do have to ask you guys, what did you think overall? Like, we were talking about this during the sidecast tonight, but what were your overall feelings about uh, Bad Blood on Saturday? Overall, I I was really disappointed with the card. I did mention this on, uh, on X, that I do feel that this might have been one of the most weak cards that I've seen maybe in about 20 years. Yeah, Zodiac, I, I'm sort of with you. I didn't quite turn it off. I turned it off at the uh, Naya Hurakarana. Or as the rest of us humans call it, falling flat on your ass on a power bomb. And then the uh, 2K-like uh, flip from uh, Bailey there. I love how Naya hit the ground and Bailey took like an extra half second to realize it. And decide to flip anyway. All right, the apron. And into the side. It's gotta suck. I was flipping back and forth between uh, collision, between bad blood, the hardest part of the ring, absolutely. I was flipping back and forth between collision, between uh, bad blood, two baseball games. There's just a little bit of everything going on there on Saturdays, so. Nice sit out there. And I'd be taking advantage of the last moment. Uh-oh. Nice release suplex there. Ivy looking for more toys. really hate when that happens if you're the bill oh jesus let's just chuck a chair what the heck right to the back of the deck I 
I mean, the one thing about this game is they do so much no selling. It is scary. Like Ivy mean, just, she's a champ. She shouldn't have to, she shouldn't have to. Oh God. Shana, why are you trying to cover with that Alba right there? Nice clothesline. Alba gonna hit her finisher. Here we go. Quick pin. And Shayna just gets in there to save it. Shayna off the rope. Oh. Sort of a spine buster Alabama slam kind of combination there. Sort of fights out of that sleeper there, and now, now what? Nice kick to the face. Alba sees Shayna, but it's too late. Uh-oh. 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 Karafuda clutch. Alba fighting out of it. Thank goodness for Ivy. Ivy decided to look for goods instead of Try to actually get involved in the match. I'm surprised there. Granted, it's 2K. I'm not that surprised. All right, to the back of the... Oh, nice spear again. The WWE we trust. Who paid him to put that side up? I thrive on our destruction. Uh-oh. Alba's caught outside the rig. Ivy look for some big fall away slam. Oh, missed the chair. Oh, that, that wasn't a miss. Steerike. Steerike. Alba treating it like a good old cricket bat there. World's strongest slam. Oh my God, Ivy fell on the ring. And Shayna almost wins the women's title. If Shayna could hurry. Nope, Ivy back in the ring. Piper's pit. Oh no, don't steal it this way. It's almost in a triple threat like this. You want to be all oh on. Alba's not going to get there in time. Oh, she just makes the save. That is so damn close. And Alba just going for a chair. Not the wisest move. Shada was playing possum with Ivy there. Sends Basil over the top. Oh, and I Ivy falls out too, so Alba's all by herself. Oh, no, what? Crash and burn with a dive. Well, that collision worked out a little better. Oh, God. Ivy dominating right now. Oh, she's going to go specifically for Shayna. Yeah, I think after this Alba and Shayna feud's done, I might just flip Shayna. We're supposed to do 10 heel, tur 10 heel face turns this season. I want to see if we can focus on doing that. Backdrop driver on the chair. Uh-oh, Alba's got Ivy all to herself here. Or is it the other way around? Uh-oh.
We're gonna see it. Torture rack. Not enough on it. Baser back in the ring. Got that sleeper on. And Alba's out in the corner. Are we gonna get it? She ain't moving. No, not enough. What are these ladies gonna have to do here? Well, Shayna knows what to do. Grab a stick and start swinging. I'd be going for a cover right now. There you go. Never mind. Waited too long for Alba to get up. Shining with insecurity there. Kick to the face. Go for the cover. Oh, Alba's look. Is she looking for a finisher? Nope. Go for another swing and a kick. Going up to the top. Hits it. Cover. I thought Shayna was going to get tied up in the graphic of missing the move. Oh, reversal out of there. What's Alba up to? Oh, got the chair. All right, that's going to suck right in the face. Down to the chest. Alba just wide, wearing out Shayna Baszler right now. Now Ivy looking to take advantage. Oh no, got that sleeper in. Got the legs hooked. Is Alba gonna get in the ring in time? Oh, just barely breaks it up again. So many close near falls. Side slab by Baszler. She don't need no shtick. Let's just get this cover in. Oh my goodness. Pit her! Pin her! Oh, never mind. Going up to the top. Are we going to see it? Missile drop kick. Could that be enough? Oh, Alba go over the chair. Wants to make sure it's enough. Drop kick. Hey, Boris. We're just here, match one of uh, week three here for the women's championship. Our champion, Ivy Dial, taking on Alba Fire and Shayna Baszler. Shayna and Alba have a bit of a feud with each other, but and Ivy's did nothing for us in terms of getting a rivalry, so. Oh, there we go, a little soul food. Ivy ducks out of the way. Let's run into those stairs. Oh my god, it's back and forth, twisty turvy. Nobody knows what's going. It, uh, it is fun. And I'm just sitting back and just, we booked a card and let's see how it goes. Last week was rough. This week's going to be a lot better. Ivy, you really trying to submission? Oh my god, we got fire! Alba with the fire! Shayna's out! One, two, three, champ! We got a new champion! Smackdown is red hot right now! with Alba Fire as our women's champion. Fire out of nowhere. Three and a half star match with no feud addition. Nice consolation prize, all right. Not everything I wanted. I wanted that feud to go to level two.
But we got the title switch. We got the three and a half. This is a good start. Fire out of nowhere. All right, we sent JCJ for some training. She still got 10 X re XP. That's a whole level. That is perfect. That's five by me. So this one here, we're not going to be able to watch because we did have the run in by Johnny Gargano. So Gargano and Theory have a feud right now. Austin Theory demanded to have a no holds barred match this week. One of the stipulations of a no holds barred match is the guy who gets the guy who does the no holds barred or whoever loses the no holds barred match gets an injury for a week. So I'm sorry, Darius, but they require you your services here for this week. And Triple H is also giving us a heel card by booking this match here because we have our least popular fighter on the card. So let's, but Gargano's trying to run it on uh, Theory. So this could be interesting. Let's take a look. One, two, bring that back. Oh my God. Theory is out for a week. <laughs> <laughs> I can make this work though. I can make this work. He asked for it, so therefore he shouldn't be too upset. Zane, you got four promo scale. You should be calling out the champion. This... The only thing that's saving me right now is Dragonov does not have the title. We we kept Dragonov, but for some reason they didn't give the Air Continental title that he just won over Seth freaking Rollins. We will figure that out as we go here. But no rivalry incre no rivalries increased at all here. Like I don't know what's going on. We're going to have to find some way to as long as I'm getting quality matches, I'm not worried about it because if we have to go to week 10 to get all these rivalries done, that's what we had to do with Becky and, or sorry, uh it was JC and Billy Slugger in season 2. Because of the Paul Heyman card, we couldn't uh, we couldn't get the feud done in week five, so we had to go to all the way to week ten to get that done. So I'm not feeling horrible about it. We are gonna have to get some good matches on the PLE, but at the same time, I'd love to get a level four one of these to get it out of the park here for it. But speaking of which, so right now Cora Jade has a tag team feud with. Uh, with her teammate Jody uh, Jody Garcia against Thea Hale and Nikita Lyons. We brought in Jody Garcia, uh, an Hadspin person. Just We needed somebody who's a giant to take on Thea Hale, who's a cruiser. Cora comes in last this week and demands that she gets a triple threat or a fatal four-way involving Thea Hale and Nikita Lyons. Be it is to me not to be the auspicious gentleman here, Let's uh, let's book the match and let's see what you can do to help us out. It is just a regular match, so once again, it might take a little bit of time. So one thing I hate about the regular matches, like triple threats and fatal four ways, everybody's always in the ring and it always takes forever to finish. That's why you'll usually see me do like a tables match for those. So we'll see how things go. If you guys haven't noticed, we aren't booking uh, many, uh, many championship feuds right now. We're not putting any titles on the line right now because so far every week five, Paul Heyman has put the veto champions card out for all of his brand for all the brands. So if I don't have a champion of veto, his card does nothing to me. No, no. The card that he played last week was a Vito Champ card. I could get one of those as well. And your opponent, first, representing Chase U from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Thea Hale. 
The card that we got from Heyman last week was just a veto of one champion. The one that uh, he has as a power, power, power card is the fact that he has three three champions per brand that, that are not allowed to be booked on the show. But we are going to throw a double cost card on Heyman uh, right before the... Uh, like next week when we book, we're going to put the double cost card on Heyman. So for the PLE, he can't book any special matches without paying the price. And I remember we we booked uh actually I'll wait for the introduction here. So Nikita we picked up in season one. She was one of our original draft picks. However, uh political situations were in real life were a little dicey. And one of, one of my fellow Backbreaker uh, gaming members requested that we drop Nikita just because of, you know, it's not just a game, it's life. I had no problem with it, to be honest. Like, if Nikita was labeled a giant, maybe I'd be a little better with it, but... Because that's one thing I want to do with Nikita Lions here if we can get her to that level. See if we can move her up to a giant. And then once she's a giant, I can turn her into a giant heel. And I'll have Thea and Nikita do the breakup, uh, breakup story, right? Because it would be nice to play in a little story on our own. In this, not just have to... Uh, rely on the computer to tell us what our theories are going to be not just Austin <laughs> the key to wear that out right there but I think our PLE if uh, if Haven pulls that card we might Either way, I think we're going to have a Knight of Champions during Backlash. That way we can establish some champions, establish some... Uh, establish some more storylines. Nice suplex. Our clothesline knocks down. Sometimes the collision detection is a little more than, than wanted here, right? Nice. So yeah, just see so also uh just as a heads up for Wrestle Dream coming up this uh this Saturday, once we're done, we're actually gonna be raiding out to Love Wrestling on uh Twitch. Uh Saturday night uh Love with uh, Big Bad Boris is gonna be featuring uh local pr former Stampede wrestler Duke Durango, local wrestling legend, PWA Hall of Famer. In one of his early matches, so. They've been showing a lot of classic matches on the channel on Saturday nights, and.
I'd love to see Thea win this just to get more popularity up. Oh my god, did Cora sell that? And that's Thea for you. Just a little adrenaline junkie that just runs around every Oh god. I still can't get over how they throw stuff like that. Well, it looks like... Uh, oh, God. What the hell was that? Uh, I think that's the best way to sum that up with the key to there. What the hell happened there? <laughs> oh, Jesus. That is a long toss. Throwing Thea back in the rig. Oh god, there we go. Thea's doing good on these throws, but she is totally going after her own partner for some reason. Oh, interception on the 20. And decides to gloat about it. That's not the best thing to do right there. Thea in control. I'd love to see Thea get this match won. Oh no. Nikita and Cora working together. All right, everybody get back in the ring now. Off the ropes. Oh, Fez Press. Fists of fire here by Lions. Lions misses on the drop kick. On Jade there. Is Thea going to pull out the upset here right now? There's a chance if Thea keeps working on it. Nope, she decided to go back to the outside to get some more plunder. As good old Dusty Rhodes would say, a little more plunder. Side rush and leg sweep on the floor, then just raided down those rights. Oh, Nakita's ready. Ready for what? We're not sure based on what she was doing there. And Thea misses on the clothesline. Nikita misses on the splash. We'd have to say this is a collision detection nightmare tonight. So far. Once again, that Thea now misses. Well, Nikita didn't miss on that shot. Nice snap out of it there. Back into the rig. Jade toss back in the ring herself. Oh, the Kimura almost locked in. Oh, and Akita went for the leg drop and missed. That's got to hurt. I don't care who you are. And the key to taking Thea out with a splash. Nobody got for a cover yet. Oh, Cyclone kick. Just take down and fists everywhere. 
Oh, Nikita's ready. She's got to get one of these ladies back in the ring to finish it, though. Looked like Thea had the same idea, but Cora didn't want to listen. Everybody wants to send everybody back into the ring, but nobody wants to go. There we go. Oh no. Standing sliced bread. Cora Jade looking for Thea there, and Thea just. Yeah, I think I'll wait. I'll grab this chair first. On her own tag team partner, no less. Well, Thea, you gotta be a little quicker. This chorus taking a victory lap. Oh, God. That looked like a slow curveball there. Little Kataro Crusher there by Cora Jade. Oh, God. What do they have planned now? All right. Thea tried to reverse that. That was the worst thing to happen to her. Why are you sending everybody? Oh. Double arm DDT. Get somebody in the ring, please. That's the only way we're going to finish this here. All right, what we got here? Nikita back of the ring. Thea, go after... There you go. And she eats a drop kick for doing the smart thing. Nice clothesline by Thea. Quick cover. One, two. Oh, almost. Almost. Down in the Kimura. 2.9. Nice up kick. Now go over the cover. This should do it. I'd say it's about a 2.8. Standing moonsault. Got locked up in the ropes there, so couldn't do the dive. Now Nikita's taking charge. DDT. Uh oh, could this be? Oh, well, she's going for plunder. We're going for a walk. What are the other? Oh, going for a chair. That's a baseball toss. That distraction spot actually works. Did you see that? Corey just like, no, no, no. Over there, over there, over there. It actually worked. Get her the rig. There you go. Oh, Thea gets out of the way. Dodges a kick. Into the turnbuckle. Looked like Thea had some big plaid, but oh god. Nikita, somebody throws a chair at someone. You do not go immediately for the pin. Because the person who threw the chair is probably not in a good mood. What's Nikita got planned now?
These ladies are loading it all up here. Nice arm drag and a knee. Blocked. Cora J with a high knee. Back elbow. Fez press on Lions. Armbar takedown. That was actually pretty neat how that one happened. Got that Kimura on again. Is this gonna be a tap? Oh my God, Thea got the tap on her own tag team partner. Here is your winner, Thea. Thea with the upset victory. I signed her as a pet project. I wanted to get her to grow. This is a big step towards that right here. Now, what kind of score did you give it? You idiot. That goes out to Meltzer, whoever book who gave that score. I got a feeling like I know why that face model is creep. Yeah, that one right there, that is. That might actually be the screenshot for this episode. <laughs> that would be a little bit amazing here. <laughs> but that almost guarantees that we're going to get the perfect bell curve out of this. Drag it up. Drag it up. Only 2,200 people. What the hell? So our main event, tables match, one-on-one, -on -one, die jack, stacks, no rivalry again. They have a tag team rivalry going, so I'm not too picky about it. We're good to get rivalries. We're good to get them set up. We got a few. We'll get them figured out. This tables match, this should drive us up to a level two as long as everything goes well. Let's go take a look. But yeah, like, it's frustrating to see how the rivalries are growing, but we definitely will get them. If we don't get them this one, we'll get them week 10. Week five, I think we had one level four. The big thing for me is the fact that Alba Fire is our new champion. The following contest is a tables match. Making his way to the ring from Worcester, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 270 pounds. Die Jack! Our, our big thing is the fact that Alba Fire is our new champion tonight. Uh, I don't know if that Gargano uh, rivalry advanced with uh, Theory. Next week, I could just call out Gar Gargano, call out Theory, so that won't be a big deal for me. And once again, I do feel it's going to be Stax and uh, Dijak for the world title. At Backlash. Try to take it easy on everybody. Not not any real crazy matches to start. And his opponent representing the D'Angelo family from Chicago, Illinois. Weighing in. Lorenzo. 
And Stax just looks in great shape here, ready to go. Okay, dumb question. Are these based off real people? Most of them are. The ones that we've had on this show today are all wrestlers that either are in WWE or were in WWE at the time of this released. Like uh, Dijak here, he's been released since uh, the, the game came out. Uh, Nikita Lyons is injured. Coming back soon. And I think everybody else on the card, uh, Darius Butler, the the uh, black, the uh, yeah black guy that was facing Austin Theory in the No Holds Barred match, he's off the Pat McCat Pat McAfee show. Pat McAfee, a uh, popular talk show on Fox, and also you know, or on ESPN. Sorry. Stacks trying to make this quick. Like I haven't got into the world of make believe quite yet for some of these guys. I will be getting into that as we move along here because we are going to have to. If we use the same guys over and over again, we're going to lose all the health and everybody, right? Big slab on the table. I think Dijak said this is about enough here. See, the angle's nice and high on that table. If you're watching Dynamite earlier tonight, uh, JB and Soraya set up a table almost flat, which is harder to break. Willow made sure it broke, but. Over the top. The slabbing on tables and chairs and screen. Half the time, no, because the collision detection in this game is absolutely horrible. Theoretically, it should. Just having a jagged piece of metal sticking into your back might not be the best thing in the world. Well, that's one way to use the table. Don't throw it away and then grab it again. Try to remember if it did the N64 game? No, I don't think so. I think in 2K it only works if uh, you actually use it as a weapon like you're holding it. Nice crescent kick by Die Jack. Yeah, no, no, don't go looking for weapons and Die Jack has a table next to you. We're trying. He's like, no, screw you. He's going to get a fresh table. Like I said, sometimes the AI of this computer ain't too bright. Nah, I don't like that table. A little bit of a hangman's neck breaker there. Once you get into the stairs. Dijak throwing his own table into the ring. Tried to hit him with a drop kick, just got blocked. Knee to the stomach. All right, little chair to the chin or a table to the chin.
All right, we're going to put a table at every corner. That would be cool, but... Now, if there would have been a table outside, that would have been cool. All right, table set up. Dijak said stacks the outside. I thought he'd have a right for the pickings right now. But you can't question the heart of stacks. Nice right hand. Stacks put the boots in here. Nice close up game here, guys. Let's go. Okay, so that table's out of the way. What are you guys doing? Get him back in there with that. A little bit of a whoopee cushion there, it looked like. Nice suplex. Let's get just laid shots on left, right, and center. Shot to the back. Shot to the front. Uh-oh. Are we actually going to get an announce table for once? No, he was just pissed off enough that he was going to... Knee to the head, but that ain't going to do it. In a regular match, that might finish it, but not here. Love the D side, yeah. Well, that is a die jack thing. Hey, die jack, you might want to get up. He just keeps picking up the ladder. Keep. Oh god. Dijak's busted open. Alright, this crowd's getting upset here. Let's do set, boys. There we go. Dijak's got his finisher ready. Get that table set up. Oh, here we go. Dijak setting up for the big old power ball. Dijak with your win. Busted but not bruised. And that's supposed to be a stack specialty. Stacks control that entire, it only takes one move. And there we go. Three and a half star match to end it. Rivalry goes to level two. We are on a roll here. So definitely this, uh, this looks like this will be our title match here. So we started great. We ended great. I'm glad I moved these matches around. Oh, life is good. Let's see if life is terrible for our other brands though. On Raw. We got our opening title match for the World Heavyweight Championship. Shinsuke Nakamura versus Ridge Holland. Nakamura retains. 
Four star match, though. All right. Bobby Roode calls out Chad Gable. That would be a match I'd love to see. Isla Dodd, Gigi Dolan. I will not lie. I would love to get Isla Dawn over here so we could have uh, the Evil Sisters working together here, but let's see how this goes. GG wins. Two star match. Ooh. Rivalry grew, though, so that's what matters there. Gable gets him 45. Damn it, every time. Priesthood Breaker versus Truth and LA Knight. That is a decent match. Priesthood Breaker just dominating again. Tag Team Rivalry level two. Bailey with an okay promo for charity. So they did the double charity for more fans. Trying to separate us there. So the main event for the world title. Molly Holly taking out Bianca Belair. One, two, Molly Holly retains in a four-star match. I tell you, this Raw's doing excellent here. And going from the great to the, yeah. Eddie Guerrero versus Omos. Three-star match, okay. Got a rivalry moving there. Barely Eddie's. So I got 10 for my XP. He got two on trading, so that's great. Drew McIntyre and Stardust versus Champ Champ Adrian Buck and Sheamus. Drew McIntyre and Stardust with a three-star match, no rivalry. All right. Balor calls out, see, a weak promo, but still gets the rivalry. Damn it. Tag team. Uh. Can some. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw a bot that tried to get in the chat. Some of these names are just amazing. Can somebody explain to me how Roman Reigns and Hockey Talk Man are an actual tag team? That's all I really want to know. Take it on Champ and Booker T. One, two, that's three. Bell. And of course, Raids and the Hockey Talk win. Booker T's out for the PLE. Damn. And for the inaugural Women's Champion in Season 3 at WCW, Bliss and Raquel. Raquel wins. Three and a half stars, new champ, new rivalry, or a bigger rivalry. I like it. It's not a bad show. I really hate when you don't use spots, though. ECW. Oh, God, they barely used Eddie. Gotta use those promo spots. They are effective for a reason. The New Day taking on The Miz and Ivar for the Tag Team Championships. I just want The New Day to win just for the hell of it. Just for the law. Let's go. Three and a half. I appreciate that. MVP with a good sell promo. Another tag team match. Ronda Rousey, Piper Niven versus Liv Morgan, Candice LeRae. They're already going at it, so. Rousey and Niven, three star. Okay, so ECW's put on a good show tonight. Tiffany Stratton versus Indy Hartwell. Should be a good match. Except the specialist, specialist. They get better than anything I could get. And their main event for the world title, Jake the Snake Roberts versus Julius Creed. Jake retains. Four-star match. You've got to be kidding me. All right. Well, let's see what the uh, report cards are. I got a good booking out of it. I got a level one rivalry. I got a level one. I got a level two. So I got three level one or two level ones and a level two right now. Plus I have the tag team uh, rivalry going. So that's not bad. Freaking raw. They're amazing booking level twos all across the board. How do I not get this lucky? 
Good bookie here. Booker T's out three weeks, so he's gone for the PLE. They got a level two, a level one, and a level two. So they're doing okay. Level one, level one, level two, level two. So all in all, I think we're roughly around the same all around here. I would really like to see why this was only two stars. Because I didn't add a match stipulation. That's the only reason. Gave me zero stars for the match type. All right. Well, shit happens, I guess. Ugh. All right. Well, let's see how the final scores go. 108. So we gained 30,000. That's the first time I've ever seen an even number. We're almost at 500 grand even. So we got roughly from where we started last week, we're up about 600, 6,000. So. All right, so let's see here, 499, 4380, 118, and they got 46. Like, I, I think they got the bigger stadium already. It has to be. But they only got 261,000, so there's a little bit of that too. Like, they spent a lot of money, and they don't have a lot of money left. 118. So they gained 40,000. So we're going to gain the lowest number of fans this week. This is the part that frustrates me here. Sheamus and Buck really work. Okay. And ECW 118. Like, yeah. And they have over 500,000 in their hands. So. All right, let's see the power card. Injury rehab three. Beginner's luck three. Brace the popularity of the star, star with the lowest popularity roster by 15. Let's go. So we're still in first place. We don't have a men's champion. We are almost 100,000 fans behind though. We are going to use that steel card and just royally get ourselves back in the race here. But uh, I want to wait for a good time here to do that. So well, let's not get too crazy here, but, you know, let's prepare ourselves for the best here. But with that being said, because the game doesn't allow us to save here and uh, we are going to get ready for next week's show and see what's going to happen here going forward. Uh, let's go see what stipulations we're going to have to deal with with Bookie this week. So, Houston, Texas. So, these three cannot be booked in matches. I can deal with that. I can deal with this. Select an opposing brand to have three randomly selected superstars that cannot be booked in matches this week. Cannot be used the week before a PLE or in 25. So in other words, you can't book it for this week to go into next week. So. All right. Not going to be able to book Boston Cotter, Alba, or Nikita Lyons. I have to miss the show this week. Fine. Thanks for the match. Kind of knew they'd have to tee up to cheat to die by victory. But the crowd could see who the best fighter was. Fair enough. She's happy. All right, Triple H with his offers. Let's see what he's got. Got an email about an ad agency in the era. How do you feel about giving them a chance? They're currently charging 10 grand for a three-week ad campaign. It has the potential to get us some new fans, but since there are always... The potential we can lose some as well i think we got to give it a chance for 10 grand that's like nothing i think we do it and just make triple h happy too right not that making triple h happy is a big deal to us sounds good i'll update you next week so maybe they're going to give us a huge boost maybe they're not we'll see 
So everybody, Theory didn't come back and say a word to me about this, so I'm a little upset about that. Least popular available specialist has to be in a match this week. So Dragonoff needs to be in a match this week. That will not be a problem. So yeah, we got three guys that are vetoed out. We got one guy on the injured block. So we might be bringing in some friends to work with here. Uh, going into uh, week four here, get ready for our PLE. We'll probably get Baszler call out Alba just to fix that problem here. But let's get into a chatting screen here. Uh, once again, everybody, thank you for uh, sticking around here. For those on Twitch, stick around. We're going to be booking week four right after uh, we're done wrapping up this video. Uh, for those on YouTube, make sure you hit the like button. Click subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, hit the bell notification to know anytime we drop uh, videos live here. It is uh, every Tuesday and Friday that these videos go up, up on our YouTube channel. Uh, YouTube.com slash at uh, Backbreaker underscore gaming. Uh, for those that are watching on YouTube, stop by. Come say hi. Twitch.tv slash Mike the Ref after AEW Dynamite and AEW Collision as we uh, book these live in front of a live studio audience. But with that being said, everybody, thank you for stopping by here tonight, today, whenever you're watching this. And always remember, be part of the solution, don't be part of the problem. And we'll see y'all here next time on the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. Take care, everybody.